Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be creating a list view which is going to have certain notes and then we're going to fetch those notes from a JSON and then we're going to display them in our app. First let's start out by building out our list view. Okay, and now in the item builder we're going to build out how our list items are going to look like. We're going to have a card which is going to contain the title and the note itself. Okay, we have a card which has a column which contains two text widgets, the note title and the note text. And now let's run the app and then we'll tweak it a little bit. Okay, so here's our app up and running. And what I want to do is add some padding to this, this whole column basically to make the card a little bit bigger. And also I want to make the title bigger than the text and also not to have them centered but have them to the left over here. So let's first add some padding. Okay, now we have a little bit more room to work with. Now let's change up the font size of the note title. Okay, now our note title is bigger than our note text. And, and what I also want to do is make this note text gray and not black, just to emphasize what is bigger of a priority, what is more important. So let's do that real quick. Okay, I think this is too light of a shade of gray, so let's add a little bit stronger shade. Uh, let's go for 600. Okay, I think now this looks good. And I would also like to add padding from the top to be 32. From the top and from the bottom to be 32. And from the left to be 16. And from the right to be 16. Okay, let's save this now. Okay, now this looks like more of a big card or whatever. And now let's uncenter this text. Okay, and now we positioned our note title and note text to be to the left using the cross axis alignment attribute of the column widget. And that's pretty much it, I think. Now we can move on on fetching the data from quote unquote REST API and then displaying it over here. Okay, so now we should create an entity class. This is going to be converted from our JSON and then our UI will be able to display it. I mean, technically it can display directly from a JSON, but this is a more cleaner approach. Okay, so let me create a new folder over here, which I'm going to name entities and I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call it note.dart. Now let me create a class note, which is going to contain a title. Okay, and let's also create a constructor for our node class. And let's also create another constructor which is going to be used from converting our JSON to our node. And here we are passing in our JSON as a parameter. And the reason why we're passing in map as the constructor argument is because when we use the HTTP dark package, it converts the JSON string to a map. And that's what we're using to convert it to a real world object. And now we'll just return a note and in the constructor we're going to pass in the members from this JSON thing. And now we're going to set the title and the text to be from this JSON object. And that's how we convert a JSON to a custom object we create. Okay, and now we need to fetch this data. So here we are in our homepage state class and let's create a future async method which is going to be fetch notes. Okay, and we also have to import the HTTP package. So this is an external package. So we need to have a couple more steps than just importing the package. Here's the pub page of this library. And here we go to the installing tab and just add this as a dependency to our Flutter app. We go to pubspec.yaml. Here we have dependencies and just do that. Save the file and it should automatically run Flutter packages get. If it doesn't, then you would have to do it on your own from the command. Line. And now we close this and now we can import our HTTP package. Okay, so now that we have our HTTP package, we can finally make HTTP requests. Okay, so first let's initialize the URL we're going to be getting the JSON from. Okay, and now we can get the list of notes using the HTTP.get method. Okay. And now here still we didn't retrieve the list of nodes, but we just got a response from our HTTP request. And now we can check if our HTTP request succeeded, if the API returned a 200 response. 200 basically means okay, everything was returned properly. And it's not response, but response.status code. And if it was, then we can continue on. Now we can get the nodes from this response. Since we know this is going to be a JSON, we're going to use the JSON class to decode this response body into a map. And now let's import dart convert in order for this to be available. And now we can go through each and every one of these notes and add this to the notes list. So, okay, here we have our list of notes that we're going to return. And I also need then to add this list of note over here. And then we're going to fill this list of notes up. And here we're using our from JSON method that we created earlier over here. And now I think that's all we can return this notes. 
and we should also have a note field which is going to be used to represent all of these notes over here. So let me do this real quick. Which is going to be used to represent the notes in the UI. And let me now change up our list view to be rendered from our list of notes and not just to render random text. So let's go notes at index dot title and notes at index dot text and also we need to fill up this list which is connected to the ui so let's do that we're going to do that in the build method and we're going to call our fetch notes and we're going to call the then method value and we're going to go notes dot at all value and i think this should be it let me save this and yeah yeah yeah. i forgot to set the item count for the list view to be notes dot length save this right now okay we got a problem okay and i forgot to call the set state method in this notes dot at all but i think now we're fine and let me save the app and this should work and probably it's not going to i need to hot restart so let's see if this works okay now our, our app is fetching from this json but the problem is we have one two three four five six seven eight nodes but it continues on repeating and repeating and that's because this is in the build method and it shouldn't be in there but we should be setting this in in its state because build method is getting executed over and over again and that means we're fetching all of these nodes over and over again so let's move this to in its state method okay and as you can see we have overridden this init state method and now we're calling our fetch nodes over here so let me save the app and see if anything changes over here as you can see nothing is changing Changing, but that's probably because the list view was already populated so let me hot restart the app and see if this changes it and now we have only eight notes and I think we succeeded in that and I think that's pretty much it if you have any questions let me know in the comments like the video subscribe to the channel and all that good stuff I'll see you next time